what is up everyone coffee break is here and well i know this is not the ending we wanted this year and i had to personally take a week off of just talking about football to just get my thoughts together because the loss was tough to take but i started thinking that at the beginning of the year the beginning of 2019 the 49ers by far met my expectations. I mean, to start the year, I had them as a nine and seven football team and they showed promise. They showed growth and they showed that they made a lot of good moves to be in the position that they were this year. Look, we can complain and complain about the Super Bowl loss all we want. That's all we want. That's all we ever wanted. But I want to shine light on some of the positives this year and just move forward like i said it's been a rough week i don't know about you guys but initially had to, had to get distracted to not think about it and the only way we're gonna sort of get through it get through this off season is just discuss what the future holds for this team who is still really really young and i still think that their window of winning it all has sort of just started and i think it's going to be another great year in 2020. so let me start by talking about jed york the owner because it's it's around the time we hear from the owner we hear from management already we heard from them uh kyle shanahan and john lynch took the podium and um, they shared the same sentiment uh, about the season. They were proud. They were disappointed, of course, with the loss, but expectations now are there for this team. And I feel like that's a good thing. We want expectations. I feel that Jed York's next move here needs to be extending the contracts of both John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan. Look, this sends a very strong message to the team. You're basically telling the guys, I know we lost, I know it's not the end we wanted, but damn, I believe in these guys. And that would honestly lighten the mood here in the Bay Area. The team would also feel like ownership has their back. So I think this sends the strongest message that you can send. And I feel like that's the first move that should be made from an organizational standpoint. I do hope that Jed does this sooner rather than later. I think John and his team with Adam Peters and all the scouts have just done an incredible job at drafting. And um, they're the main reason why we were able to overcome a lot of the injuries this year. I mean, you want to talk about the impact of Nick Bosa. Bosa was honestly a, a no-brainer at number two this past year. We look at Debo, who I loved coming out of college, fits the Shanahan system perfectly. Look at Dre Greenlaw, who had a very important role this year and would continue to be asked to do more in this defense. I mean, the 49ers have built this team the right way. Now, you still have some question marks starting with uh, this year's free agents, but um, I feel like this team is still very young and still can improve a lot. I'm not saying it'll be easy, though, getting back to the Super Bowl next year, but confident-wise, I'm all in. If we want to touch on the free agents this year, I mean, you have Emmanuel Sanders being a free agent. This is honestly going to be a tough one for the 49ers. They're not going to be able to resign everyone. I think with Jalen Hurd, who they drafted, this year and Trent Taylor coming off an injury. I feel very confident on those two coming back healthy this coming year. I mean, my initial thought is that the 49ers are probably going to pass on re-signing Emmanuel Sanders just because we have those two coming back from IR. But we can touch on that on a later video. We also have to talk about Armstead, who I personally think they should tag him and get him for at least another year. Ronald Blair, who I love and honestly him being hurt definitely made an impact in our rotation at defensive line. Uh, I would love to see him back. Sheldon Day, another important piece uh, to the interior defensive line. I don't know about Sheldon Day. DJ Jones is there, but you know, he was important this year. We also have Ben Garland who played tremendous in his backup role at center. So a lot of key variables here. This doesn't include the contracts that Buckner and Kittle are going to get this offseason. The 49ers are for sure going to have to make some of those tough decisions this offseason uh with little capital in this year's draft a lot of the key pieces are going to have to be re-signed in order to sort of keep this thing going so you know john lynch his crew they have their work cut out this offseason i think they have 
the talent to run this thing back and honestly be the favorites to win the NFC West. That's my initial thought, but we will have to just wait and see where the chips fall there. Uh, like I said, Jed York's first move should be resigning John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan, sending the loudest message to the team and just try to keep this team tight knit for another run here in 2020. But anyways, guys, let me hear from you. What are the first signings the 49ers should get done? If you can only pick one guy out of all the players I just named, who would you sign? Go ahead and drop your comments below. Also, here are your comments left in my previous video i want to thank you all for watching let's get this off season started off right and we'll see you on the next one guys peace